This video explores the use of dynamic measuring instruments with Automation Studio, as shown in yellow in this diagram. We will see how to access the measuring instruments, describe the interface, and see the dynamic instrument layer, the different ways to measure, such as the instruments used to measure components, a one-node instrument to measure pressure and temperature, two nodes for differential pressure, and two nodes and a line for power and power loss. Then we will see how to record with these red circles, and we will plot and save the recorded values. We will also see how to change the format. Apart from the plotter, another way to analyze the system during simulation in Automation Studio is with dynamic measuring instruments. Dynamic measuring instruments can be used both during simulation mode and edit mode. Here we are in edit mode. To select a component measuring instrument, go to the simulation tab and click on this command in the measuring group. Then place it on the component to measure. For example, select this cylinder by clicking on it. The image changes color. Hold the left button of the mouse and drag it to place the dynamic measuring instrument on the circuit. A window opens with a list of the values that can be plotted for this cylinder. For example, to measure the linear speed, choose the unit among the list provided and set the range of precision. There is also the option to add a comment to this instrument and enable it to record. When starting simulation, Control the output with the wheel to see the dynamic evolution. Again, during simulation, add another measuring instrument, this time the linear position. Just like with the linear speed, set the value and the accuracy. Here we can see that this dynamic measuring instrument is being recorded because of the red flashing button. These are component dynamic measuring instruments. We also have node dynamic measuring instruments. The one node dynamic measuring instrument, when selected, appears when the mouse cursor is hovering. Click and hold the left button of the mouse, release, and the measurement appears. Measurement with one node is different since it is for fluid only, so it measures fluid properties, such as temperature, viscosity, specific mass, and pressure. Measuring with two nodes is the same except the process requires two nodes. So click on the first node, release, and then click on the second node. And during simulation, the changing values are visible. It is possible to change the properties of the unit and continue simulation. For the last dynamic measuring instrument, the power dynamic instrument, it's a line that characterizes flow and two nodes. For this example, select this node and this one. This dynamic measuring instrument is able to measure power and power loss. And later we will see energy and energy loss. Change the unit and continue simulation to see how all the values evolve. Slow down the simulation to see all the calculations and measurements that are displayed in the diagram. Once the simulation is stopped, plot the dynamic measuring instruments that have been recorded. Drag this one onto the plotter, and the value curve appears. Try to drag this measurement onto the plotter. Nothing happens because the values have not been recorded. 
Let's say, for example, you've started the simulation but have forgotten to record a dynamic measuring instrument. The setting can be changed during simulation. Then drag your recorded measurements into the plotter during edit mode. For example, take this dynamic measuring instrument and these ones. Save these recorded values by plotting them and exporting the data as we've already seen. You can also select and multi-select all the dynamic measuring instruments that have been recorded. To multi-select, left-click the mouse and hold the Shift key. Then right-click and save the values with this command. This is also used to see other properties, delete selected dynamic measuring instruments, and clear all the values. Click Save. An internal file will be created. Assign it a name. To see the file, go to Tools and Project Explorer. The folder called Measures has been created and the Plots file is below it. To view these values, empty the plotter, go back to the file and select View. With Automation Studio, many different measurements can be recorded during simulation and stored in a project.